have you read this about Troy Davis? So, hmm, he had a birthday coming up, and his birthday, same day as John Lennon, karma, he definitely deserved it to get executed. For a start, everybody's going on about, oh, he shouldn't have been executed, and it was 21 years ago. Well, of course it was 21 years ago, because the government was being very lenient and giving him the benefit of the doubt, but, I mean, for a start, he had a whole history of carrying guns and being a poor uh, quality worker. He started to not show up at work, and he had a history of carrying illegal weapons around in his jacket. And on the night that the police came, he had a smirk on his face before he beat the policeman with a handgun that he was carrying in his jacket. And now everybody's like, oh, but it was so long ago. Well, he was going to be in jail for the rest of his life anyway. So the way I'm looking at it is if he got killed and executed, then great. Now he has a chance to be reincarnated and reborn and go after the real killer or seek his enlightenment in his reincarnated life. It doesn't do anybody any good. He's just going to sit in jail wasting taxpayers' money. I don't want to pay for him to get a free gym and free satellite TV, okay? So I'm kind of thinking it's a good thing that he got executed. And secondly, all right, he wasn't all that good in person when he was alive. He wasn't nice to animals. It said that he used to... Oh, no, I'm looking at somebody else's page. But here on Wikipedia, it says that he said he took drugs and he didn't have a path in life. And so he was just a drifter. He was aimless. So there's really only one place for people like that. Either to get a clue and get enlightened or go to jail. He got off lucky because he went to jail and he got executed. So he gets to meet his maker earlier than a lot of people, as far as I'm concerned. And he did a good thing by not requesting a last meal because that's just a waste of resources.